Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are over here in the left side of the Lone Lands because I did have a plan for today but apparently it didn't work the way I wanted it to. I had mailed myself a full new set of jewellery and thought it was awesome and then I realised halfway through uh, or upon sending it a second ago that I sent myself some level 38 armour or, or level 38 uh, jewelry, which you can quite obviously see we are not that level. Are these the things we have to kill? They are lynxes, yes. Yeah. So we are over here uh, doing some quests uh, over here. Just, you know, instead I thought I'd go again from the top uh, of the whole thing rather than starting from the high level quest, just sort of um, getting through the whole thing. And yeah, that's just generally how I think it's a good way to go. I don't know if we have to defeat any uh, of those cravens. But let's check, quickly check on this one. No, we just have a Slayer deed for them, so it's not as important. But we are doing this, and I do now have some, uh, not in my inventory, but I will have for when we eventually, in a very, quite a long time, I think, uh, when we eventually reach level 38, we will have some full critted, pretty good uh, stuff for that. I think, do we have? No, we don't. But we do have to get the banners. Collect a dwarf banner. Okay, that's that's fine. And we don't have to defeat these guys, so that's okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I'll also put on this one. So, sever the white hand, because I actually don't know what that is, but it is part of this sort of area of quest. So, around this area, I think, are the um, yeah, better blankets, uh, which is... Uh, soft link sides, which we have half the amount we need. Uh, so let's go and do those. They should be pretty easy to kill. And then we have also Righteous Recovery, which is half orcs uh, killing those things and also collecting some uh, some crates. I haven't seen any yet, but I'm sure they'll probably be up in this area. Uh, and then, you know, once we defeat the half orcs, uh, all ten of them the quest area will sort of uh, become a bit smaller and it will point us towards where we need to go. Uh, is that a half walk over there? That is. So we can do this one. That's going to be the penultimate one. Go take out the... Oh, that was not supposed to be what happened. Half walk over here and then we have the final links over here we can deal with. And I'm hoping that maybe we can get... Oh, what did I get? A tarnished necklace. That uh, starts a quest. Okay. A quest item. Deliver the, to the rightful owner. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that one when we come to it then. So we'll switch those two out. I guess we'll also put... Uh, where's... Yeah, deliver the necklace to the rightful owner. Where is the rightful owner? Let's switch all these off. Rightful owner is up in Oscar. Okay, so we can deal with that one when we get to it. Uh, but I'm hoping today we can get all these ones... Uh, done all these grey level quests uh, here. The, what they level 25 to 26 uh, level quests. I'm hoping we can maybe get all those uh, sort of completed today, uh, or at least a majority of them. That should be uh, pretty good and getting uh, closer to the fin uh, final part of you know uh, the Lone Lands. And seems we're in the wrong area, so we also need to collect relics apparently, and also we need to. Still be looking on for half orcs, but it seems a majority of that a war. Yeah, it is. Um, actually, speaking of which, do we have? Oh, we need to defeat 37. Well, we got 37 out of 50. I don't know why I auto attacked that thing, but I guess I did. So I guess that we can keep that place in mind if we need to go kill a lot of um, wargs when we get to that point. But for now, uh, yeah, righteous recovery is the half orcs, which should be, I think most likely sort of on the pathways of here. It's kind of attacking us, which is kind of annoying, but they're pretty easy to kill. Uh, so I think, yeah, they're sort of on the pathway uh, a lot of the time. So there's two there we need to... that means four more we need to kill after this. And then we need to collect some relics, which I guess are a drop from enemies, it looks like. So, yeah, the... Yeah, the half orcs rest of the ruins, causing they're going to lose valuable traces. Return to the ruins and sift through the relics. Oh, okay, so it might actually not be a drop, which is interesting. 
uh, but we'll have to see when we get there. Oh, it seems that we're off track, apparently, according to the map. But we have to go form all those, find the stolen crates, which, as I said, is probably in a different location uh, to this bigger sort of red area. It's probably within this place, it seems that's uh, most likely what's going to happen, just uh, from prior... Uh, run-throughs of quests and stuff, that's probably how it's going to end up going. Uh, I might be wrong. And then we have three more quests. Is it three more quests? Or is it... Yeah, it should be... So you got the Sever the White Hand. Oh, that's going to be Kill the Boss Guy is this next one. Is that a half-orc? No, it's just a goblin. Okay, so we are in, or out rather, of the area that we need to be in. Ah, oh, there's a half-orc up there. So that's going to be second to last, or third to last, yeah, uh, of the ones we need. Two more after that. Probably shouldn't uh, take too long to find. Is this one up here? That's sort of nope. That's a lynx. Uh, as I said, they are sometimes in the pathway, so hopefully we can be lucky there. There's one, and then we got to find the final one, which is over there. And there's even a third one, just in case uh, anything I don't know, weird happens. I don't see anything particularly going wrong. What I do want to do is make sure that we do have the map up while attacking this guy. I want to see what's going on. Yeah, so that area has been severely dropped um, over to here. I need to stop looking at the map. I've noticed whenever I like miss out a thumbnail or something, if, like the last four episodes, which uh, just I never got around to making thumbnails for, I actually took screenshots for them, but I never actually ended up making them for some reason. Uh, they were all all four of them, I think it's 109, 110, 111, and 112, were all uh, <laughs> just the, the default screen, uh, thumbnail was a screenshot of a picture of the uh, the map. <laughs> so it is a valuable resource, but I, I think I, I think going by that I use it too much, possibly. <laughs> so I need to um, do two things, which is use the map less and make sure I have thumbnails on the videos before they go up, because I've noticed they take like three days to actually apply if they're done after the video is uploaded. So, kind of an annoyance, but we are now over here, and I can't see any... Are these guys dropping anything? Ancient artifacts. So we are going to have to kill these guys, which sucks, but we have to collect ten relics. These guys shouldn't take too long to defeat, I don't think. Uh, we have to collect the relics, which hopefully they are just like a... You know, you get one out of every single one of these, and it isn't like, oh, there's there's nothing here. Which uh, I have seen some quests do, so hopefully we don't have that issue. Uh, anything? Nope. Ancient artifacts are here, though, so let's get rid of this half of brute. Don't aggro that guy. That's our third one. We also need to keep a look out for those stolen crates, but they're all going to be up there. So we'll, uh, we'll focus on those when we get to that, uh, I think. Oh, there we go. Final shot. That's this guy. Oh, we accidentally aggroed an extra. That is not good. So, how many do we have? Four out of five. Or well, four out of ten. <laughs> oh, I said five because I was trying to say how much we have to get till we are halfway. And I assume there might be someone up here. There's at least one thing up here. Which is, oh, two things, maybe more. There's another set up there. So that should be an interesting time. Ancient Vase, that guy's attacking us. Apparently, uh, he could see me from there, which I guess is fair, but I didn't think he'd attack me there. Silver Ring of Determination, Seven Will. I uh, useful. We'll also pick up the Vase. Because we also get some XP out of it, even if we don't pick up all the items. We got some three cracked dwarf carvings, because I do like to keep the items in my inventory so we can stack them up. Okay, so I got interrupted and had to unfortunately log off, which means we are at the higher chance of having our... Well, we have our health quite low down, it's still sort of uh, recuperating, but we only have three more of these to go, or two more, and there's two extra, so... There is a definitely enough for us to pick up. There should be all ten. Then we have to find these stolen crates, which are in around this area. 
so we can go and pick those up. We don't have to really worry about the half orcs at the moment because we've done that bit of the quest, but I have to now work out where these broken crates are. Or not broken crates, stolen crates are. And I also need to find out where his this guy and his guards are. Oh, no, that was wrong. I got distracted because I thought the rain was like a sparkling item and I was very interested in what it was, but there yeah, looks like they have the stolen crates here. There's what three in this area I'm looking at. How many do we need? We need eight, so no sorry, two in this area. no three. God damn it, one there. Uh but yeah, three out of eight. Not too bad uh at all. And they shouldn't be too difficult to come across, I don't think. And we just have to defeat this dude and his guards. Uh, only four of them. I'm assuming there's just going to be four of them and we just have to defeat them all. Um, first, there's not going to be like 20 and we just have to defeat four random ones. Um, that's generally how this thing is go, I assume. Or I think, generally. But uh, we also have an antique vase over here so we can pick that up. We should be able to and get some items out of that. And then... Uh, Hopefully up these stairs, there are a few more of these wonderful crates we're after. Uh, not that I can see. Oh, one over there. That's pretty okay. So then we'll be halfway there. And there's also, uh, if we hadn't got all the relics yet, there's this thing for there. None on top here. Okay. Uh, so I guess they're up on top of there, potentially. So we'll just have to get rid of this half orc. Root. Nope, I don't think there's anything down over that area. So up we go to find four more. There's at least one, so looking good so far. There's also, yeah, that guy and his guards are over there, so I'm going to have to have a little look quickly. I guess 1,400. Okay, two here, so we've only got two more to go after that. Three. Okay, so we only got one more after. We... Ah, there they are. Okay, so we <laughs> we got all four, and then we can sort of from this area do a little bit of a scoping of the area. I guess they're in there. Fair enough. Um, so we can't really scope out the area too much. We've got to go around. And there's a vase. We can get the vase in a second. I think. I don't think we're going to aggro these guys. No, we're not. So let's just take this vase. Assuming these guys don't aggro us, which they have. God damn it! I, th I, I thought I'd be safe because I thought they'd have to like start running around, but I didn't realize that they would probably be ranged <laughs> ranged enemies. So let's research this. There we go. Three cracked dwarves carvings. Hopefully we get enough to just sort of level up pretty quickly. But this guy is here. Each of his uh, things have 300, so it's not too difficult. We're gonna go over here. It shouldn't aggro them, and we're gonna focus on him first. I think. Probably a safe bet to go, uh, take him out, then take out the lower levels after. He should, yeah. So it shouldn't be difficult. The trap seems to have taken out one of the guys just because they are, you know, only got 400 healthish. Uh, so this, yeah, should be a pretty easy thing. There's nothing in here of interest. So now we're going to be able to go back. I think we just need to go back to Osgurath. Oh no, we actually need to go back down there. Uh, it looks like so. A fitting meal is. Okay, so there, there, and I think there's going to be some stuff in Osgirth as well. Let's switch out that one. Oh no, uh, an Onless People is the one in Osgirth. So what we're going to have to do is we will go to this area first. Then there's complete quest here. Take any extra quests that need to be taken, most likely. And then we'll go back to Osgirth to return that necklace, which should be where that needs to be returned to. And then we'll end off the episode. So I'm going to take a little bit of a travel down to this place, which is the, uh, the I think where that mine is for those dwarves. I think that's it's got a dwarf outside. I think that's where it is. There's a half group here, so hopefully he doesn't. And oh, whatever, we can run past him. It's not too much of an issue. Um, he didn't see us anyway. So we'll go down to that place, which I think is where that dwarf is. Then we'll go over to there. Then we'll back, go back to Oscar with the travel skill, or we could go back. We could return to camp. Go here, and then go there, then go Oscar. Probably what we'll do. Uh, so I'll quickly see you when we get to that place over there. Okay, so we're traveling up 
to the top of the hill now to talk to this people at the camp, but one thing I did realize is we probably are going to have to get rid of a few things in our inventory because, once again, it has been filled up with random gen uh, vendor trash. So, I don't know how bad it's going to be, but we'll have to see. Uh, yeah, this guy's going to give us some in, so let's get rid of this. Yeah, if we could drop into the correct place, we'll drop that. See which one's better. Um, I guess it's five might. Uh, neither of them are better, but we'll just take that one because uh, why not? Actually, we can just get rid of the things that they're giving us. That's great. Uh, he's going to give us a defeat wargs in that place quest, which is interesting, I guess. And then we'll complete better blankets. See what we get from that. Six will. Uh, we can't have those anyway. I'm reinforced there. So I assume the shield's going to be the most. Two seventy. 235, oh no, uh, boots, but we're also just going to get rid of them anyway, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, yeah, so we don't all like quests for that guy, and we got to do all of these, so let's see, five vitality, really not that worth it, uh, so we'll sell off, or, or just get rid of this item anyway. Uh, the vendor trash will probably sell for more anyway, so, and the, exp uh, the reputation is, if anything, better than the uh, what we'll get out of it anyway, so that's not something we need, that's not something we need. We'll just take what sells for the most, which is that thing. Doesn't really matter. I don't know why I keep on checking the thing that sells the most. But we get a sword, which is just not as good as anything. Its max damage is one less than our minimum damage. So, you know, take that as you will. Uh, this gives us potentially better. Uh, 118 armor, so that's more armor. 13 more armor. 7 agility, but this gives, always gives us vitality. Basically, 7 vitality. So, um... Definitely not worth it, but we'll pick it up anyway. Uh, we've got to get rid of something else as well to fit it all, and then we're just going to get rid of those as well. This guy also has a quest for us earning trust. What does he want us to do for that one, actually? Earning trust? Oh, earn trust, so he wants us to talk to the guy in Oscar of anyway. So uh, that's fine, and then we'll have to go and defeat some wargs at some point anyway, which is uh, where, where in the world? Uh, where does he want us to do it? Just generally here. Maybe we can do that as a quick thing in a second. Because wargs shouldn't be that uncommon, I don't think. And if he wants to kill ten of them, we are going to have to go back to him, unfortunately. But uh, maybe we can maybe we can complete it, or at least get somewhat through it today. And then, oh wait, this is that place there is that massive like cave full of them. Well, not actually a cave, but like it's like a little cavey part. It's full of them. Maybe there's be ten there, or nine, or something, and we can get somewhat through that. Defeat those guys. Uh, probably not completed today because that means we'll probably have to go back here, and that's kind of annoying. Might have to do it. Depends on how long the episode's gone on for. Uh, but we'll have to see. So I'm gonna go. Uh, actually, we should be here now. So we'll we'll go defeat these guys. Hopefully, there's ten of them. Or at least you know, seven. I want to say minimum, but it looks like there might be ten. Um, they are gonna all aggro us, so it looks like. I don't know. Not all of them, but at least a few together. Uh, but they're not that difficult to kill, which is pretty. Damn good. And then we'll sort three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, my numbers of hoping were correct. It looks like there's one extra as well, so that's eight. Uh, let's have a look at the minimap. One, two, three, four, five, six. Assume that, so that's what, eight. Oh, and we also have to defeat wolves anyway for another quest. So this, if we don't even get it done today, helps with another quest. So what's. We got three extra here so we're gonna have to get to we're gonna get to yeah eight um so we're gonna have to find some more but i'm gonna quickly go over to uh this quest completion areas and uh then we can hopefully find two walks here go back to oscar earth and be done with it so i'll see you over there quickly i'm just gonna quickly skip ahead i don't really know why i skipped ahead too much it's not like i traveled a very long way but Either way, we are now here. This is going to give us one, uh, 700 reputation here. He's also going to give us another quest, a dwarf's duty, a collect dower hand axes, which is just going to be something I assume he wants us to uh, go over to that place we were earlier. And collect the dower hand overseer's medallion. We'll go for that at some point. So let's take off these, 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 and those. Actually, we can keep raising the wolves higher here. And also, I think there was another complete... Yeah, and trust, so we can go back and do that as well. Uh, so, I haven't seen any wargs yet. Speaking of which, there's a warg. Um, that has <laughs> exactly as I say that. 
Uh, and there's a final one, so we should be able to uh, get this done. And we'll have to see if he wants us to go back to... We'll keep that one, actually. Does he want us to go back there? He does. Right. I'm going to go back there quickly, and we can just sort of travel to Oscar, and we don't really lose that extra time. So if I see any wolves on the way, I'll start recording again, because uh, we've got two more to complete Iron Jaws, and then we'll complete that at another time when we get to the green quest. But if we're doing it, might as well do it now. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you back when we complete the quest or if we find any more wargs. Okay, so they have respawned, so we are just going to quickly take on two of these, and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I think we're going to probably get a lynch, uh, a lynch, a lynx into battle, uh, because I think they were going to aggro off of that anyway, um, so we had to get rid of it. So that one's now done. We'll actually complete that if we're going Oscar in a second. Why not? And if it gives us an extra quest, then all the better, uh, you know, rather than so we can well then we can progress instead of being held by back by those extra two and not wanting to do it because it's all a bit of a further quest in the progression of everything even though it's literally at the beginning of the green quests so it's not too much of an issue so once again I'm gonna skip to when we're back up at the camp then we'll travel back to Oscarath and we'll be done with the episode right here we are hopefully he doesn't just send us another quest but we actually get an item from that oh he is just gonna send us another quest summon and defeat Shadepaw Right. Well, we're not doing that today, um, unfortunately. But it is on the way here, but maybe we'll do it on the next episode, because uh, these, I think, quests are in this sort of area, so we can go there, there or there-ish, then in there, and, you know, deal with that there. But we're going to go quickly back to Oscar Earth, just because otherwise I'm just going to go on a massive quest spree, and it's just not going to be worth it in the end. Uh, well, it will be worth it, but, you know, uh, the episode will be far too long to really work with. So we are going to go and talk to Frederick the Elder. I think it's Frederick. What do you uh, mean? Frederick. Yeah, complete that quest. We then got to come over here. Um, I don't know if these are just generally... Okay, so this one, yeah, this guy did give us a quest, Iron Jaws. Uh, we can get Shadow Thrift Shoes, which is just not good, and that, which is also just not good. But what I'm going to do quickly is I'm actually going to sell to this guy because then we actually get a bit of money out of getting rid of some of the items we have. So, uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that, otherwise I'm just going to have it with me forever. Um, and a, a few of these other ones I am going to just uh, keep, just in case I, I do change my mind. Like, that gives us 8 vitality, but actually, why am I not wearing that? It's just a great earring. Like, we lose 1 vitality, but we get the 25 extra morale, whatever. Uh, broken spears, I can go, these can go, those can go. All the ears. We can also get rid of those shiny earrings now. We'll also get rid of those scroll cases. Actually, no, we need scroll cases because they are useful on my other characters. And scroll cases are a pain to find sometimes. Uh, okay, so we'll complete this one. How can I be of service? We'll get the that thing. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just complete the quest here first. Iron Jaws. We will complete that one. And then we can sell off the items Greetings. back to you. Then you can give it to some other random person who <laughs> completes the quest for you. Uh, okay, and um, we'll also, while we're here, quickly do that, get a few items, extra, is that good? No, we said that wasn't good. That's better, but not good for us, uh, so whatever, and Metal Smith I'm never really using, so, you know, whatever. I think we need that beeswax stuff, don't we? Beeswax candle, there we go. So, that's going to be it for this episode, guys, thanks for watching. Next episode, I actually don't know if I'm going to do tasks, uh, most likely won't because it's just kind of like, kill enemies, get vendor I might do it eventually, at least once, maybe. Um, actually, come to think of it, let's just quickly check what the rewards are, for example. Just reputation. So, I don't know if it's really worth it, we'll have to see. Um, but, I am going to be doing some more quests. We'll actually pick up... Let's do these five, so we have that sort of area. And then the sixth one is also going to be there, that we can put on when we do that. So, I'll do those next episode. Uh, it's around the area, so, uh, you know, we should be moving quite a bit, and it should be fun. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time with those quests.